What's going on everyone and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you or maybe take you through on how to set up billing alerts for your AWS accounts. So I think one of the first things anyone needs to do is to set up billing alerts after creating an AWS account. So here uh, we will set up billing alerts by setting budgets. So I'm assuming that you already have logged in into AWS management console. So once you are logged in, click on the username and click on my billing dashboard. I assume that uh, you have logged in into your AWS account using root credentials. So once you are here on billing and cost management dashboard, you need to click on budgets from the left panel. As you can see that I have not defined any budget. So I'm going to create a budget now. So click on create a budget and here you can see that you can define three types of budget that is cost budget, usage budget, reservation budget. So in this tutorial, we are going to set up cost budget. So it says monitor your cost against a specified dollar amount and receive alerts when your user defined thresholds are met. Now within usage buckets, it says uh, monitor your usage of one or more specified usage types or usage type groups and receive alerts when your user defined thresholds are met. So here, for example, we can consider the running hours of an EC2 instance. Then we have reservation budget. It says track the RI that is, I think reserved instance utilization or reserved instance coverage associated with your reservation. So these budgets support Amazon EC2, RDS, Redshift, Elastic Cache, and Elastic Search reservation models. So I think uh, it is for the reserved instance to track its utilization or coverage. So that's where uh, you can define uh, by selecting any of the one based on your requirement. So right now I'm going to select cost budget and I will click on set your budget. Now the first thing you need to do is, is to name this budget. So maybe I will say monthly budget. Now within period, you can set three types of period that is monthly, quarterly and annually. But here I want to set it as monthly. So I'm going to select monthly. Now within budget effective dates, there are two options that is recurring budget and expiring budget. So I'm going to select recurring budget because uh, I want to uh, set it up uh, automatically for every month. Now if you select expiring budget, then you need to define the end one that till when you need to uh, run this budget. So here I'm going to select recurring budget. And it says start month from September 2019. Now within uh, budget amount, uh, there are two options that is fixed and monthly budget planning. So yet I'm going to select fixed. So if you click on monthly budget planning, then you need to define the budget for individual month over here. So as you can see for September, for example, you need to define $10 for October, your usage, uh, is increasing, then you, you might define $200 and so on, right? So here I will select fixed. Now here you need to define budget amount. Maybe I will define $5 for now. So my budget amount is $5. Then here within filtering, that is budget parameters, it's optional. So ideally it includes everything. Now, if you want to track any one of the service, then you can select from here and maybe apply filters, right? But I want to include everything that is an overall AWS account of mine, right? So I'm going to keep it as it is within advanced option. I'm going to select unblended cost. So that's again, I am uh, keeping as default. And then once we are done with the settings, uh, click on configure alerts. Now here you, you can see budget amount is $5 alert one. So send alert based on actual cost or forecasted cost. So I want to uh, send an alert based on actual cost and not the forecasted cost. So here you need to define a threshold. 
that uh, if the billing crosses 80% of the defined budget amount, 80% threshold, then I want to send an alert to a defined email address. So I will say 80%, right? So here you can see notify the following context when actual cost is greater than 80%, that is greater than $4. Now, once you are done with the alert threshold, you can also set it up 50% or 70% or whatever you want. Then within email contacts, I want to send an email to this address. I mean, I want to send an alert to this email address and then so define an email address and say add email contact. So you can also define uh, multiple email. Okay. So right now I'm keeping it as one email address. Now you can also opt out for SNS service that is a simple notification service. So if you uh, go ahead and select this checkbox, then you need to define SNS topic ARN. But right now I'm not uh, opting out for SNS. And you can also uh, define multiple alerts. So I can say add a new alert and in alert two, I want the notification or alert for forecasted cost, right? So, but uh, I'm keeping it as uh, one alert. So I'm going to remove this. And once you're done with this, click on confirm budget. And here is your settings, right? That is monthly budget, period monthly, start date is SEP 1, 2019, budget amount is $5 aggregated cost by unblended cost and it includes everything right and here is your alert that is actual cost that is based on the actual cost and it's greater than 80 percent then it should send an alert to the given email address and once you are done with the settings click on create and you are good to go and here as you can see here your budget is defined right so now, uh, whenever my billing will exceed $4, that is 80% of the threshold, AWS is going to send me an alert via email that your threshold has been reached. Then maybe based on that, I can take necessary actions, right? So that's how you can set up uh, billing alerts for your AWS accounts. So ideally, uh, as per the documentation, you can create up to 20,000 budgets per standalone account. And your first 62 budget days are free of charge each month. And each additional budget day cost $0.02. So for regular accounts, uh, this is equal to your first two budgets being free, right? So you can uh, learn more about this or costing, uh, by reading the documentation. If you have still not set up your billing alerts, then I will recommend to first go ahead and set them up. And that's it for now. And as usual, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below. And I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.